Hi, I'm Ms. Roz. Today we will be making um, custard. Um, this one will be the chocolate custard. Um, so let's get ourselves ready and see what we need. Um, you will see that I have my um, saucepan here and then I have a bunch of equipment here. So I have my measuring um, cups, measuring spoons, wire whisk, fork, spoon, and knife, a uh, medium-sized bowl, liquid measuring cup, and then a couple of custard cups, little small cu cups for measuring. All right, and then you'll also see over here we've got some ingredients. I've got my milk, sugar, cocoa powder, cornstarch, vanilla, and some eggs. All right, one of the questions is always, what's the difference between pudding and custard? Right? Pudding, typically the only thickening agent you use is either flour or cornstarch. However, with custard, we also use the egg in order to um, to do the thickening. Okay, um, and since we've been talking about eggs for the last couple of weeks, I thought that this would be an appropriate time to do this. Um, also, so you, um, in the last couple of weeks, we have been talking a lot about um, how to cook eggs and how to kind of solidify eggs. This time, we're going to talk about how to keep that egg solid, but at the same time, cook it all the way through. Okay, so let's um, get our. So I showed you my mise en place for. Um, Equipment. I'm going to show you my. I showed you my mise en place for ingredients, but then I also like the mise en place for um, measuring ingredients. All right. So let's um, get our ingredients all measured out so that we can um, work with everything. Okay. So let's see. All right. Um, my my recipe um, for the chocolate one requires um, a half a cup of sugar. Okay, so half a cup. I'm gonna grab my sugar container here. Okay, right. and then I'm also going to grab a butter uh, knife. You can use anything with like a flat edge. Um, butter knife is probably the most common thing. You can also use a leveler, um, but generally I just use the butter knife. All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna scoop my sugar. All right, and clearly this is obviously more than a half a cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level that off and then put that in my one bowl here, All right? And then I also need one third cup of some cocoa powder, All right? So here's my cocoa powder. All right, so I'm going to grab my one third of a cup, which looks like this. Right, and I'm going to scoop out so about a third of a cup, right, and then make sure that I level it again because obviously this is much higher than one third. All right, level it, put it in my bowl. All right. um, and then I also need some cornstarch. Right. So cornstarch. All right, um, my recipe tells me that I need four teaspoons of some cornstarch. All right, so I'm going to grab my teaspoon. All right, and then I'm going to grab another bowl. And then I'm going to scoop out four of these teaspoons. One, two, three. Right, and notice I keep leveling each one I do. Four. Okay, so that cornstarch is going to help with the thickening of my ingredients, as will my egg. Right, so those are my dry ingredients. Now I want, let's put those aside, and we'll come back to those. And then I need my liquid ingredients, right? So I have one that looks like this. You might have one that's more of like a Pyrex, um, like the glass one. It doesn't matter which you use, but this is my liquid measuring cup. Right, and I'm going to find where it says two cups, right, and that's where I need to pour. All right, so here's my milk. I'm going to slowly pour. All right, notice that my uh, container is on the counter, All right, and then I'm going to just eye it until my um, liquid gets to two cups, All right? You'll see that kind of little line at the top of all your liquids called the meniscus. We like to measure from the bottom of the meniscus, right? So my milk is already, and then the last thing I need are my vanilla and my um, 
eggs. Right now, this recipe tells me I need three egg yolks. Right. However, I have three eggs. So, not only are you going to learn how to temper an egg, but you're also going to learn how to separate an egg. Right. Some people say let's do the water bottle or whatever, and I honestly don't really understand how the, what the water bottle is um, because I just do it with my hands, easiest way. Right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to crack the egg open. I'm going to put the egg in my hand. Right. And I'm going to let all the egg white drip out into the bowl, and then I should have an egg yolk left in my palm, and I'll just put the egg yolk into the other bowl and then they are separated. So, crack, okay, and then slowly add this. Right now, you may have a difficulty doing this by yourself, which is fine. Um, ask your supervisor, get somebody else to help you while you do this. Okay, so there that you saw that egg white come out, right, and then my egg yolk, right. Now, the key to this, right, is to make sure that your egg yolk does not get into the egg white, right? Um, you can use your egg white and make another, you know, make some scrambled eggs, um, or uh, if you Google and see what else you can make with it, I know that macarons or meringue is um, you can make with egg white, so if you wanna, you know, try something new, go ahead, but the key to that is making sure that you don't get any egg yolk into your egg white, because they won't stiffen up, they won't, Right, make sure you wash your hands really well after you play with those eggs. Right, and then I'm going to just set my egg whites aside because I don't need them for now. Okay, um, and then I just like to you know, clean up as I go. I spilt a little, so let's clean this up. There we go. All right. All right, so I, um, like I said, I have my eggs. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is I want to start heating up my milk first, All right? So let's go over here. All right here is my um, saucepan. I'm going to pour this in. I want to what we call scald my milk, which means I want to heat it up, um, but I don't want to boil it. Okay, I don't want to burn my milk. So I'm going to turn this up to somewhere around seven or so, um, so that it heats up. All right, what you'll notice when you cook this is number one, you'll be able to smell the milk cooking, but also what you'll notice is that you'll see little bubbles kind of starting to come to the top of your milk, and that's an indication that your milk is heated through. Okay, you learn in science class when you add heat um, and things get hot, they start to move around a lot, just like boiling water. Same thing for milk. Okay, I don't want it to. I don't want it to be bubbling a lot because you're going to burn your milk. But I do want the little, little tiny, tiny bubbles that you'll be able to see um, in the milk. So while we wait for that to heat up, let's get the rest of this ready to go so that I can add my milk. Okay, so in my bowl, I'm gonna add my sugar, my cornstarch. Right. I'm going to grab my spoon here and just scrape the rest of that cornstarch in there. Right, and then my cocoa powder. Right. Now I'm just going to uh, whisk this. Right. You do, um, so number one, I whisk it because I want to help break up some of those clumps. But number two, I also whisk it because I like to incorporate and make sure that all those ingredients are equally um, dispersed throughout my my dry ingredients. Okay. Now I'm gonna add my eggs into this. Okay. It's going to become like a thick paste, but when I add my milk, it will then smooth out. Um, but um, let's mix. Oh, you know what I forgot was my vanilla. I'm sorry. Um, I need two teaspoons of some vanilla. Okay. So generally speaking. I will add my vanilla to my eggs when I'm baking, um, just because it's a liquid I know that works well, so I don't have to get a whole nother um, bowl for vanilla. Okay. So I'm just going to mix these, my eggs and my vanilla together. You'll notice that egg yolks are a lot easier to mix together than if they had the egg whites in it. Okay, All right. and then pour those into... into my dry ingredients. Okay, and like I said, while you mix this together, it is going to get a little 
um, thick, and that's fine because when I add my milk, it'll thin out, All right? But while I'm doing this, right, part of the purpose of doing this is to help incorporate all those ingredients um, and also to help start to dissolve some of that sugar that we put in there, that half a cup of sugar, All right? So I like to kind of help dissolve some of that sugar before we put the milk in so it doesn't get what we call grainy. Okay, all right, so like I said, it's gonna be a nice thick kind of texture. All right. It looks kind of like um, brownie batter. All right, so I'm just waiting for this, the rest of this milk to heat up. All right now, what's gonna happen is that when you go to add this milk, all right, you're gonna want this milk to be added slowly. If I dump my milk all into this, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to get little chunks of scrambled egg in the middle of my custard. All right, so you don't want um, all kinds of chunks of egg. You want it to be nice and smooth. All right, so I'm going to just move these out of the way. I'm going to look and check to see um, what my milk looks like. All right, I can start to smell the milk. Okay, nice that smell of warm milk, and then as I look at it, um, and it starts to mix through. I will start to see um, some bubbles. Right, so I'm just mixing it to help. Okay, and I can start to see the steam in here, and I also can start to see bubbles coming up, which means that it is um, nice and warm. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Okay, and now, like I said, we're going to slowly add this. So the first go around or so is going to be a little difficult. So what I would want to do is I'm just going to add a little at a time, okay, and mix this around. Now, this may be difficult for you, so if it is, please feel free to ask somebody to help you hold the bowl so that you can add the milk and mix it together. Okay, so... There we go. And then I'm going to add just a little. Okay, notice that as I'm adding, I'm only adding a little at a time, right? I'm not pouring it all in at once, okay? But I am mixing it, right, so that it is nice and smooth. Okay, like I said, you don't want any scrambled eggs in here. Okay, and now that it's gotten a little easier to mix, right, it's getting nice and smooth. All right, now I can kind of slowly add this milk in a stream okay um, I like to make sure that the milk I've added is mixed through first before I keep adding more all right so So I'm going to keep mixing, adding a little at a time. Scraping the sides of the bowl. All right, and as I get towards the end, and I know my egg is not scrambled, looks good. All right, I did spill a little milk, so I'm just going to grab a paper towel. All right, what I do like to do is make sure I kind of clean up the side of my, my pan because sometimes I get a little milk on the side. Um, and then I did spill just a smidge of milk, which is no worries. All right. And then what I need to do is I need to now add this back into my pan and finish cooking it. All right. So because um, your bowl should be kind of warm now, all right, um, because of the milk. So I'm going to just pour this all back into my pan. Like so. All right, and then I'm going to um, cook this. Okay. And add some heat. All right, so I'm going to add this up to about between five and seven, somewhere between medium, mean, and medium high. Right. You'll notice that there's a lot of foam right now. Um, as this cooks and it gets, starts to get thicker, 
you'll notice that that foam starts to go away. Right, that's kind of one indication that it's starting to get thick and you're good to go and it's good. Um, another one is obviously the texture that you'll feel that it gets a little thicker. Um, and then the other one is sometimes, not always, but sometimes you'll notice that um, there's like a kind of like a bubble that, um, that builds up, right? Um, I haven't noticed it the last couple of times I've made it, but sometimes it does um, form. Okay, so what you want to do is this is not um, a quick process, right? Um, making this custard, especially this part where I just have to sit here and um, stir. Okay, so you want to just continue stirring this until it starts to get thick and that foam starts to disappear, right? And then that means your custard will be done. Okay, um, so one thing you want to keep in mind is that when you go to Put these um put this in a container you can put it all in one big container if you want sometimes my husband um i i always divvy it out into portions because if i didn't my husband would just eat the entire thing at once but so sometimes i'll put it kind of like in like one of these glasses i also have like tiny juice glasses that sometimes i'll put them in um but whatever you decide to put them in right best thing for you to do is to put a saran wrap on top of it so um a lot of times you end up um, with dairy, especially cooked dairy, you kind of end up with this weird skin or film on top of it. And so you want to make sure that um, it goes like it's, it, you kind of prevent that. And so what happens is that it's part of it is because of the air um, and the oxygen. So if you take a piece of saran wrap and put it on top, that will help prevent um, having getting that like film or whatever it is on top. Okay, so um, as I mix this, okay, um, it's starting, you can kind of, you can tell when it starts to get thick because you can definitely feel the consistency change from that liquid to becoming more of like a pudding gel consistency. Um, right, and I can note, I also notice that that foam on the top is starting to disappear and it's starting to get lighter which also is an indication that it's starting to thicken up as well okay so um, i continuously mix this because i want to make sure that i don't burn anything on the bottom um, nobody wants burnt custard all right um, but this is starting to thicken up my foam is starting to disappear into um, my my custard okay um, so I'm just gonna cook it for another maybe 45 seconds or so um, right. and then I'll turn it off the heat typically I like to just let it cool for a couple minutes um, before I put it into whatever the container it will be All right. All right. So it is nice and starting to get nice and thick. All right. Um, you don't want to get too thick while you're cooking because it will thicken as it cools. Okay. So. All right. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'm going to. Um, let it cool down. Right. Um, today I'm going to actually donate some to my neighbor because I'm uh, making lots of it with you guys. Um, so my neighbors will be getting a little chocolate and vanilla pudding. All right. Hope you enjoyed making custard with me. Um, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.